Hello, yes, bartender. I'd like a quickie. Today's cocktail done quickly is the Anne's Blessed Thistle. This is a cocktail invented by a contemporary of mine named Tim Kirkland over at Spirit of the Cocktail, and it features gin and a blend of Amari. Let's talk about the ingredients. You're gonna need some gin. I'm going to use Drum Shanbo Irish Gunpowder Gin today. It's nice and bright, very forward. It will come out really well against the blend of Amari. And then for the blend of Amari, we're gonna need three things. Campari, which is a bitter red Italian Amaro. Cardamaro, which is a cardamom-based Italian Amaro. And what David's recipe calls for Maletti Amaro uh, in a small pour. I can't get it here in Michigan, so I'm going to use Amaro Nonino instead. It appears to be a pretty reasonable alternative. Let's go ahead and mix it up. Stir the cocktail, so grab a mixing glass. One ounce of our gin of choice. One ounce of Campari Amaro. Half an ounce of Cardamaro and a quarter ounce of Maletti, or in this case, the alternative, Amaro Nonino. To that, we're gonna add some ice. Some ice. And then stir for about 20 to 30 seconds to chill and dilute. To serve this, we're gonna get a chilled coupe, piece of stemware here, technically a Nick and Nora. Strain our cocktail into the chilled glass. Gonna garnish this with uh, some expressed lemon peel. Put that right over top and around the rim as well. And then we'll discard that because we don't need it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an Anne's Blessed Thistle. Cheers to you, Mr. Kirkland. Oh, that's nice. It's got a full kind of bouquet of bitterness. The Campari is leading it, but uh, the Cardabaro and the Amaro Nonino are both detectable. It's kind of as if they're combining into a single Amaro that is being prevented from becoming too sweet by the gin. And those additional botanicals add complexity and make it really fun. Plus, uh, here's a little color that's bright, bright red. <laughs> that's delicious. Good job, Tim. Thanks for watching.